Hi there and welcome to this Memo Hub micro program dedicated to students who are wondering whether they should follow the startup path or the venture capital investment path. Should I start my career in a startup or in a VC firm? It's a question that I discuss regularly with students who are interested in the tech world but are not sure which path to choose once they graduate. The aim of this interactive micro program is to help you make this decision by giving you some information and by making you complete some tasks that can feed your own personal decision. This is a series of videos that has been designed as a role playing game where we'll pretend that you must make a job commitment for the next two years and we We'll see concretely together what it implies for you in terms of career. The way it works is very simple. First, you start by watching this video. Once you finish, you will complete the task that I explain at the end. And depending on what you will answer, another video will be suggested to you, which you should watch and work on tomorrow. To sum it up, for the next five days, you'll watch one video per day, do some tasks related to that video, and you repeat this process each day of the week. Obviously, if you are in a rush, you can also do that everything at once. I leave that up to you. I'm not your dad. So now coming back to our initial question, in order to decide which career path, startup or VC, you should pick first for this program, you're going to answer a couple of questions that I have for you. So pause the video now and pick a pen and paper to keep track of your answers. Second, before answering my questions, the context is super important. So pretend that you already have received two job offers, one from a VC firm and one from a startup. You like both companies, but now you need to make a decision knowing that you'll commit the next two years of your life to that job. The first important difference between a job in a startup and in a VC firm is the diversity of industries and topics that you will explore in a short amount of time. What do I mean by that? Your role as a junior VC analyst will be to analyze plenty of startups operating in different industries. One day you might analyze an e-commerce startup selling baby gears to parents, the next day it might be a social network for pet owners, and later in a week an enterprise software company. Not in every case, but in general you'll explore a very diverse set of industries and spaces, whereas when you are working or launching a startup, you'll need to focus and go deep into one industry slash topic. If you are working for this baby equipment company we just spoke about, you'll need to become an expert at it. If it's the enterprise software company, you'll need to understand in detail the specific needs of this customer segment. So you might think that a job on the VC side is more interesting from that perspective. But as we will see in a video later this week, the drawback is that the tasks you'll complete as a junior analyst are much more repetitive compared to a job in a startup where you'll potentially do plenty of different things. So for the next two years, if you prefer to explore plenty of different industries, even if the tasks are a bit repetitive, then add one red pill to your score. If you rather focus on one topic you're passionate about and that you enjoy doing very different tasks, then add a blue pill to your scorecard. Another major difference between the two careers is the feeling of building something. When you are on the startup side, one of the magical things is to see the product that you are working on evolve before your eyes and to see people you don't even know using it and hopefully loving it. This is truly a great feeling. And it's less the case when you're on the VC side. You don't have this feeling of building something concrete. That being said, what a lot of investors are addicted to is to meet plenty of great entrepreneurs and awesome people. You will likely have some great discussions with other outstanding entrepreneurs if you choose the VC track. So if the feeling of building something is super important to you for the next two years, add a blue pill in your scorecard. And if you are more a thinker and your kink is to learn and analyze things, then add a red pill. VC firms are generally very stable working environments. Employee turnover is quite low. Your tasks don't radically change from one month to the other and you don't have the month to month pressure of eating your numbers since the feedback loops are much longer on the VC side. Startups, on the other end, are in general faster changing environments. Your responsibilities might evolve every six months, employee turnover can be higher, you'll change offices much more regularly if the company grows and you'll constantly have to eat new business targets or your company will risk to die. But there's not one better than the other. It really depends on what you are looking for. So for the next two years, again, if you prefer high stability, take a red pill. And if you prefer chaos, the blue one. For this question, look at these two pictures and pick the outfit you'd prefer to wear the next two years.
Now that you have answered all my questions, count how many red and blue pills you have. And in the case of a draw, you can count double points for the last questions about the outfit. If you have more red pills, proceed to the VC track for the next video tomorrow. And if you have more blue pills, proceed to the startup track that is recommended next. In any case, see you tomorrow. If you add more blue pills, click on the startup track related video. And if you add more red pills, click on the VC track related video.